Hello everyone, Dr. Wandia here. Um, I've been talking a lot about education and work uh, on in writing, either on my blog or on Facebook or on Twitter. And I thought this would be a good time to now start uh, doing the same in video. So I'm calling this uh, series of videos uh, Kazi ni Maisha. And I hope you will join me as we look through different aspects of work, education, and life. So in this first video, um, I'm going to answer the question, what is work? So I'm a literature teacher and my favorite genre of literature is poetry. So I'm going to start answering this question with the poem on work, which is taken from a book called The Prophet by Khalil uh, Gibral, who was a Lebanese poet. So I encourage you to read the whole book, but for this video, I'm just going to uh, pick out a few lines and then we'll talk about uh, what, what, what these lines say about work. So these are the words of the poem I would like us to look at. You work that you may keep pace with the earth and the soul of the earth. When you work, you are a flute through whose heart the whispering of the hours turns to music. And in keeping yourself with labor, you are in truth loving life. Work is love made visible. So what do these lines in the poem tell us about work? One is that work is a conversation with the world. So through our work, we are able to keep in touch with God, with our soul and with the earth. That means that the real reward of work is in, is in the expression of our humanity. Without work, we are not human beings. The second thing is that work is creative and transformative. So in the poem, uh, the prophet compares work with a flute that produces music. So the work of the musician is to turn the sounds and the airwaves into something that is beautiful and that brings pleasure to all of us. So in the same way, our work transforms one thing into another that improves the lives of everybody and not just ourselves. And then the third thing in the poem is that it is through work that we express love for one another and for the environment in which we live. So for example, when we cook at home for members of the family, that is work and it is an expression of love. When a mother rocks her baby to sleep, that is work which is done out of love. Or when a pastor visits the sick, or those in prison. That pastor is expressing love for humanity. So let me just go over those uh, three points again. I've said that work is our conversation with the world, that work is creative and transformative, and work is a labor of love. I'm sure some of you must be wondering now, where is Malimu going with this? Uh, some of us don't even have jobs to talk of, and even those who do, love doesn't matter when you need to put food on the table. Those are the questions I'm going to try to answer in the next video. So in the meantime, maybe you could post your comments on Twitter at the hashtags I've listed here, or you can send an email.